Hi guys, welcome to uh, today's lesson. We're just going to go back over calculating the angular distance. Um, so far we've looked at the equator line, which is obviously that uh, latitude great circle. We've also looked at our um, longitude or um, our meridian longitude line, a great great meridian, sorry, and that point starts from zero, which creates obviously like our um, our point of origin. So the angular distance, you're going to see questions where you might be given two coordinates. For example, you might be given coordinates of A, which is at zero degrees north south, and let's say uh, 25 degrees east, and you might be given B, zero degrees north south and 10 degrees west. So if we look at that on our diagram, okay, you might have this as your line in purple. That can be our 25 degrees east line. We'll do one in green. Actually, no, I won't do green. We'll do sort of red. Um, the red line here, that can be our 10 degrees west line. And so I've got my two sort of locations um, of my places. Now, with your sphere, you, of course, have the center of that sphere. And if I construct a line from the center to that latitude or the equator, which would end up being what we call a radius, which we have spoken already about being um, 64 hundred kilometers or approximately equal to 6400. Um, we have created this angle in between those two points. I guess if you wanted to draw a radius from the point of origin, you could do that as well. And what you can see here, you're going to have two different angles that make the angle between A and B, or B and A. So from 0 degrees to A, we know that's 25 degrees. From 0 degrees to 10 degrees west, well, that's 10 degrees. So if we're trying to calculate that angle together, hopefully you, you can recognize that we're just plusing them to get 35 degrees in total. Now, if I'm doing a distance, we can then uh, apply that to the distance formula, 35 over 360 degrees times 2 pi times r, which is 6400. Okay, but what happens if they're on the same side? What happens if they're both east? Let's have a look at another question. Let's say we've got uh, 0 degrees north-south, and let's say we've got 10 degrees east. Then we have 0, we'll call that A. Then we'll have B, 0 degrees north-south, and we'll say uh, 60 degrees east. So if I draw those two on, I'm going to draw that one there, can be my um, 10 degrees east longitude line. Then I can have my next one which can be my uh, 60 degrees east longitude line. I'm going to chuck a, a center of my circle in there. Now I'm just going to create my sector by drawing my lines, my radiuses in. And you can see that we've now created, I might do that in purple actually, that sector with the angular distance in between those two points. Now let's not forget that our, our uh, meridian or uh, Greenwich meridian line or prime meridian is here. That's our zero degrees, which I guess theoretically that's where our radius is. So in this instance, what we're trying to do, we're trying to find the angle between A and B. So in this case, we know that A has gone 10 degrees, that means that's 10 degrees inside there. And then B has gone all the way around to being 60 degrees between the two of them. So if I just want to find that piece inside there, how would I do that? Well, hopefully you've said, well, if one's gone 60 degrees and one's gone 10 degrees, if I subtract them, that should tell me what my angular distance of that piece of sector is going to be, or piece of pie, or piece of pizza. 
I could then chuck that into my formula, 50 over 360 times two pi times my radius, which is 6,400, and then obviously get my answer. So I'm hoping you're kind of getting what we're doing here. Now, basically the rule will be, um, if they're the same side, so that means they're both east, or they might be both west, then what we're going to be doing is subtracting, because we're trying to find the difference. If they are different sides of the, um, the Greenwich Meridian, that means one's east and the other is west, then we need to add them together to create that angle, angular distance. And that's basically it, folks. Okay, that's pretty much all you have to remember. They're the main two important parts. And once you know that, whether you are trying to find the distance between two particular points, again, so I've got my, my stuff there, and you might have point A and point B, they're both east, so you'd subtract. Um, once you've got that angular distance inside there, you can apply it to your distance. So your theta over 360 times 2 pi r, which is 6400. Um, or you might be able to do some time differences that we're going to look later on. Because later on, what we're going to be telling you is that for every 15 degrees you move uh, along a great circle, you have a time difference of one hour. Um, so if you know how what the angular distance is, then you can simply divide it by 15. So they're things that we're going to be going into. So either style of questions, you need to make sure that you get your angular distance. And remember, if they are both the same, so they're both east or both west, you subtract. Or if one's east, one's west, you need to add it. Okay, hopefully that made sense, guys. Have an awesome day.